Happy new months, of course, yeah, and um, it's definitely an interesting day as it marks World Milk Day and World Parenting Day. Of course, I have some milk today and I always have plenty of milk, but our focus will be on the latter, which is World Parenting Day. What's your favorite thing about being a parent? And we have one parent on the table, so maybe we'll start with Ife. It's amazing. Mm. Shadow make us jealous. <laughs> Just it's talk. Mm. That's all I want to say. That's all. Yeah, That's your favorite thing. It's amazing, it's Ife. Amazing. How many times did you ride jam? <laughs> I never rode jam. I Are you serious? Uh, I want. You didn't I write jam. You didn't write it. To get into school. Mm -hmm, Babcock. No. Uh, you don't need jam for Babcock. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. Oh wow, that's mm -hmm. nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I mean, thank God you didn't have to. Thank God you didn't have to. Once. Right. Thank God you didn't have to. <laughs> anyway, we caught up with few parents over the weekend, and here is their favorite thing about being a parent. The best part of being a parent for me is watching my children use all the tools I have equipped them with, the moral values I have taught them, you know, with which to live by in the world, watching them use this and become unique individuals in their own right, contributing positively to their communities and their environments. That brings me joy to see, and for me, that's the best part of being a parent. I'm a child, and I'm excited to be a parent. Anytime she calls me mama, it fills my heart. I watch her grow from baby to being a nine-year-old child. And it's been an amazing journey. That's the best thing that's ever happened to me. And to hear her call me, call me mama, that's super. Thank you. The right thing about being a parent is watching these young ones grow. Okay, so for me as a dad to a baby boy, it's amazing watching him grow from day to day. Like um, the challenges. Yeah, I call them challenges. I don't really see them as a problem because I feel like we've all been there and we've, we've all been through that. So the challenges and all, and f the feeling that you're helping to shape the future, you're helping shape possibly a generation ahead. Yeah, that's the most exciting thing about being a parent for me. Everything about being a parent, there are many, but um, it's just watching little people come into their own, develop their own personality. I just find myself staring at them thinking, this little person, they become a human being. And then also sharing companionship, sharing their joys, sharing their challenges. Occasionally, I even like bossing them around, just to remind myself that they're not going anywhere. They're my children. Uh, it, it's, it's a real joy. It's a real, it's a real joy. My favorite part about being a parent is being able to shape their lives. I mean, we all know about the seed time and harvest, whatever you sow, you're going to reap. But as a parent, you get like a blank slate and you have the opportunity to turn these little people into um, just amazing leaders for tomorrow. And you get to realize that whatever you model for them, whatever you teach them is what you're eventually going to get out of them. And I think that that's a lesson that's helped me as a parent. <laughs> The favorite thing about being a parent is, uh, for me, it's actually um, watching them grow, like from the day they were born, then to when they grow to a young adult, and you know, the process, like it's 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 somehow it's somehow um, fulfilling, like you know, you are part of this, uh, you are responsible for this human being, and it's it's actually cute. Um, and uh, this is one thing I like again is you know, have them sleep on your chest. Uh, it's really cute. Okay, so I know I'm looking forward to be a parent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I I know it's a big job actually, and it's one that um, nobody prepares you for. I don't think anybody really prepares you to be a parent. Mm. You just have to be a parent when you bring a child yeah. um, to this world. And shout out to every parent doing doing it right because yeah. I know there are parents that are really doing you. it right. Thank you. <laughs> if uh, as the parents that is doing it right, do you want to add something before we move to other stories? No, it's fine. Just keep doing you as a parent and always know that you're responsible for someone's life. So mm -hmm. whatever you do, think about that person mm -hmm. while you do it because um, whatever you do can lead to consequences for that person to suffer. So make sure you're doing it right and you're getting mm -hmm. it right. You don't have to be perfect, but just have at the back of your mind that you're also responsible for somebody. Mm. Okay. And I just want to add to that, um, taking a cue from what Gabriel Union said, basically, you don't have to be perfect. Just 
um, be there, know that you're responsible for someone yeah. and um, just do you, basically. I would say also say to remind them that they are a very key factor in what our future would look like tomorrow, especially raising children per agenda and the issues pertaining that. It would be really nice for us to get more conscious with how we raise our children. I have to say kudos to this generation. I don't think my gen my, our parents' generation did so well, but mm -hmm. I think this newer generation is a lot more it. woke and they're trying to really balance out create, um, um, developing empowered women and, and upstand right um, males as well. So kudos to you guys. And friendship as well. Kudos to you guys, and I really hope that, you know, God will continue to bless the efforts and really seal it in, because children can wake up and decide who they want to be, but I mean, the effort is good. Yeah. You can have a son today and have a daughter tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's a fact and a big worry, but it's okay. <laughs>